So, uh, you know, like, like growing up, like, were you always like in the arts and music or like, you know, kind of what was your, your vision of what you were going to be doing as a career when you was a kid, like growing up back in them days? Um, you know? me, and, me and my brother, man, we were just, we were just talking about this last night, you know, I really, I really didn't ever, you know, like, it really just dawned on me last night, bro, that I always have been, had a certain kind of focus in my life, you feel me? So, way way back when bro before i even thought of doing anything i always been a, a, a reader bro i always have been exploring and back then my thing was animals you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah my boy just scared by but uh my thing was animals back then man so i uh i remember uh get my mom to buy me a encyclopedia on dogs and then the other one and then the other one was uh, like marine animals and when i tell you bro i used to read it i used to read this stuff front to back and when i got through with the book i would still go back in and just look at it like mm -hmm. i can tell you any kind of dog what they eat what it what country they come from like mm -hmm. stuff like that like real nerdy kind of stuff you know what i'm saying so at the time, I wasn't really, I wasn't really thinking nothing real major about it. It was just something that I liked to do. Mm. And then I, I came to a point where I wanted to try football, so mm. I started playing sports in fourth grade, and I carried that over to high school. But mm. when I got to high school, that when I started doing the music thing. Okay, okay. So, uh, you know, what led to you getting? you know, in the sports and what led to you, you know, getting into music, you know, kind of like making that decision, like, I'm gonna choose, you know what I'm saying? Well, I think, uh, I just wanted to try something when I was doing the sport thing. Like, I don't know, you know, I hadn't heard people saying, cause I always have been like a chubby kid, so, they would say, oh, that boy need to play football, or yada, 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 yada. So one day, I was just like, you know, I want to play at the rig. You know what I'm saying? Sign me up. And that's how that went. It really was just like my own decision. Like, everything, I always pretty much been headstrong. It was my own decision. It was just something that I wanted to do. But uh, what made me do music, I knew... I knew coming I knew coming in high school, I knew I wasn't gonna play for ball high. Mm -hmm. And um at the time <laughs> at the time I guess I was digging it with a small mind. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to put nobody on blast and nothing like that, but you know, I was hearing certain shit. I was hearing certain shit like you know, you know, it gonna be some like when you join when you join the football team like you're gonna get jumped in you know what i'm saying yeah and so coming from Millerville, you know like we the city pretty much like the young people like they deviate like the games and shit like that and i was like ain't nobody finna jump me by shit yeah so i ain't even gonna play football even though football was my lord yeah you know what i'm saying so i think what happened was um, I ended up moving to Augusta in eighth grade. In um, in ninth grade, I was still I went to uh, Lakeside High School in Augusta. Mm -hmm. And um, at first I thought the shit was cool because I was tired of it was just it was just gonna be something new. Like when I was going to Oak Hill in the middle school, man, like in Middlesville. When my mom said we're gonna move, I was real receptive to it. Like, okay, okay, okay. But when I got down there, bro, I was sad as shit, bro. Yeah. I was sad as hell. Yeah. You feel me? But over time, I had done. Um, I had them started to like it. You feel me? And on um, in ninth grade, I had even I was like, you know what? I'm finna play for the Lakeside Panthers. Um. In Augusta, man, so I had started going to football practice. I was going to start back playing again or whatever. And um, everything started going sweet for me, bro. 
You feel me? I had met this, I had met a little chick, man. Me and her were real cool. I can't even remember her name, but when we used to get off the bus, bro, we used to walk each other home and shit like that. And I just remember getting off the bus one day, and I seen the U-Haul, and I already knew what this shit meant. Yeah. So I, I remember just, I remember just walking up, seeing my grandma now, everybody helping my mama move and shit. And just speaking to everybody, I ain't even say nothing, bro. I just started helping pack up our stuff. I already knew what that meant. You feel yeah. me? It was like, you know, you kind of like some of you two, to be honest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then we, we moved back to Middleville. And when I moved back to Middleville, bro, it like my attitude just went, bro. It was just like, I ain't gonna just say fuck everything, but I really just, they were like, it don't even fucking matter no more type shit. Mm -hmm. And then when I started, I started uh, taking the music serious, man. Then when I started writing now, what I really felt like, I always hell tried to write and shit. Mm -hmm. But then when I really started taking rap serious, then mm -hmm. when I moved back to Middleville, so back in ninth grade, when I came back to Baldwin, went to Baldwin High, bro. Then when I started taking the music shit serious. Yeah. I talk by the high, take the bomb with my niggas, I be mobbing with my player. Two my gorilla, got a certain high low, they define somebody real, I be mobbing with my player. Two my gorilla, my word is a scripture, won't find nobody real, I I'll be kicking it with player with some girls, I got it young.